score some jewels. Oh yeah, sparkle time. Oh no, help, I've been robbed. Welcome back, Little Monkey fans. It's Carrie here. And today we're going way up to the treetop toy box for an amazing Playmobil City Action review. We have five terrific sets to show you today and we got all five of them at Castle Toys. Be sure to check our video description for a link to their website. And don't forget to use promo code LILMONKEYMEDIA so you can save when you shop at Castle Toys too. First up, we have item 9131, which is our amazingly large police headquarters with prison. It has a total of 256 cool pieces. We also have direct service item 6503, which is our extension for the police station, which is a couple of walls along with an alarm system so that we can actually extend this inner courtyard. So we'll have to see what that looks like when we put it together. And we got another direct service package, item 6501, which is a character add-on. So we have a couple of policemen and a policewoman. You can never have too many policemen watching over all of the criminals inside of our prison. Let's get building. Let's start with our main jail tower. Check out this breakthrough wall, that's awesome. Here's the door for the lower jail cell. I love how the table in here has doodles on it from inmates who stayed here. Here's the base for our upper cell. This tabletop has some different doodles. Another sliding jail cell door. I love that. To finish off our jail cell tower is our roof with alarm, antenna, a cool security spotlight that can move in all directions, and of course, a security camera, which can spin all the way around as well. Let's move on to our second tower. We have a gate and a walkway that will connect our towers. This is a super heavy duty locking door. We have double locks to secure our gate. Next, let's build our helipad to finish off this tower. There, now our police copter will have a place to land. We have a second gate and walkway so we can connect our last tower. We have a few wanted posters of criminals the police haven't managed to catch yet. Cool, I like this map sticker. And our last sticker is a height chart, so this must be the booking tower. They'll bring the criminals here to take their mug shots. Two more locks for the gate on this side, and then we're moving up to build the top level. This kind of looks like the command post. A few computers and phones and I'm sure they could also watch all the security cameras from here as well so they can monitor everything going on inside the jail. Here's our stairs and this happens to be the only way to access the top floors. Another security light, our roof, along with satellite antennas. Cool, so that's our main towers. Let's spin this around to accessorize before we finish off building our courtyard walls and main gate. In our first tower, we have a locking weapon storage locker and loads of different weapons the police would need. And of course, two sets of handcuffs. This is awesome. We have some prison clothing for inmates or the prisoners, but this set only comes with one hat and one shirt. That's too bad, as we have two jail cells. So I wish that they came with two so both prisoners could have on the prison outfits. And last, we have a storage bin. We'll use this to collect evidence and personal belongings that criminals will have to surrender or give to the police when they get arrested. Time to accessorize our jail cells. It's kind of dark inside this cell. I wish the bottom floor and doors were a little bit lighter gray like the top floor. It would make it a bit more brighter inside of here. So our inmates or prisoners get a non-private toilet, sink, a bed, a toothbrush, cup, and toothpaste. And we'll store all those on the shelf by the breakaway wall. Then we have a plate and spoon and a chair. Moving on up to the upper cell, we have all of the same accessories, but you can see part of the breakaway wall will open into the cell as well, but it's a much smaller amount. I think it'll still fit a character through so both prisoners could break out at the same time. 
Let's move on to our booking room. We have an awesome fingerprint machine. I love this. We have one fingerprint film that fits on top. And if we flip it over, we have storage for a second film on the bottom. Awesome. We have a laptop, and I think this may be a central intercom with a microphone. We couldn't have a booking room without a camera. I like that it's on a tripod, ready to take the next mugshot. Time to put up some walls and close in the courtyard and build our main gate. We'll finish it off with another security camera and alarm. This is for show. It doesn't light up or make sounds. I love the entry gate and it doesn't come with a lock as I think it's supposed to be a power operated gate so it slides out to each side. Let's meet the characters that come with this set. We have two police officers with slightly different uniforms. Our girl has a walkie-talkie, both have sidearms, and both come with a security badge. But oh my goodness, the funny thing is the pictures on the badges don't even look anything like the characters. The girl in the security badge has brown hair, and the other one has light brown hair and a beard. That is kind of silly. Here comes our final character on his skateboard. Whoa, check out those eyebrows. Makes him look like he's up to no good. He's got a pretty fancy gold chain and watch on as well. Wait a second. I think he stole those. Uh-oh, he came down the wrong street. He better get going as those police officers look interested to talk with him. Whoa, coppers. Excuse me, sir. Can we speak to you about your whereabouts at 9 a.m. this morning? Oh, no. I gotta go. See ya. Hate to be ya. Hey, get back here. I think that was the robbery suspect. This is Officer 2606. Can I please get a description of the robbery suspect? Over. Hello, 2606. Young male, brown hair, red helmet, skateboard, black boots, and mean eyebrows. Possibly wearing a gold chain and gold watch. Over. That's him. Oh, I couldn't catch him. He's too fast on a skateboard. Come on, dispatch confirmed the description of our jewelry robber, and that's him. We need to get a car out after him straight away. We may need to send out the police helicopter for an aerial view to locate him again. Come on, let's go. Oh my goodness, there's a lot going on here today. Let's open our police headquarters extension add-on kit so we can expand out the inner courtyard. This is what the inner courtyard looks like with just the main set. It's an okay amount of space, but let's add in our extension walls like that. They add about four and a half inches on each side. That's pretty cool. Okay, now for the cool alarm system. We have to remove the original. The alarm takes two batteries and it's motion censored and it sounds pretty cool when we set it off. Awesome, I love it. I really like the extra space. Now we could possibly have the police car come through here and still have space for characters. Now that we have all this extra space in our playset, let's open our direct service characters. We need more than two people to run our jail and headquarters. The add-on comes with three police officers, each with a different uniform and weapons. They better head in to see if they can help catch that robber. Next up is our police cruiser. Item 5673, it has a total of 30 pieces and it even comes with flashing lights. Let's get it all put together. It's a four seater. And I love the two tone color. The rear spoiler really makes it look sporty. I think this might be my favorite police car. And to finish it off, we have working place lights. But boo, there's no siren sound. The set comes with two officers. Our first one has cool sunglasses, and I love his mustache. Our second officer has lighter hair and shades as well, and a different uniform. Ready to go? Give me the keys. Sorry, I've got the keys. It's my turn to drive. Darn it. Okay, let's go. Finally, we have set 5675, which is our police tactical unit copter. It has a total of 18 pieces and two characters. Can't wait to see how these blades turn. Let's get it all put together. There's very few accessories with this set, but I love the red hold bars outside of each of the doors. Both rotor blades spin very well. There's space inside for two characters. Both could operate the helicopter. 
and there are loads of gadgets and controls in the cockpit. The set comes with two characters. We have our pilot. Love his helmet with headset. Our second character is a SWAT team officer. He looks ready for action with his face mask and helmet. I have a visual on the suspect. Heading north on Lock End Road. Oh wait, he's turning east into Bear's Paw Park. Send a unit in from the west to cut him off. Over. And four, sending in a unit now. Calling all cars, calling all cars. Need a unit, west entrance, Bear's Paw Park. Eye in the sky is tracking a suspect eastbound into the park. It's go time. This is unit 2319. We're about one minute from the west entrance. Over. And four. All right, let's book it. Gotcha. Don't even think about it, buddy. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm, I used to skate. Wonder if I still got it. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Okay. Place all your possessions in here. Helmet. Now change into that prison clothes behind you. Okay, over this way to booking. Please put your fingers and thumb in the ink and press down on this film. We need to register your fingerprints. Ugh, I don't like the ink. It stains. Well, sorry. If you don't enjoy getting booked, then stop robbing people. Oh man, yeah, yeah. Say cheese, I'm going to jail. <laughs> Turn left. Turn to the right. Let's go, buddy, up this way. Time to show you your new cozy little home. Move to the window and place your hands through to remove the handcuffs. There we go. Sleep tight. Ugh, this is way worse than I thought. I'm kind of scared of small spaces. I feel like a caged animal. I gotta get out of here. Ugh, there's nothing sharp in here. I guess I can try this spoon. Ugh, ugh. Oh man, this isn't working. Oh wait, let's see if this chair works. Oh yeah, it's got some weight to it. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah! Woohoo! Just gotta grab my board and then I can make like a banana and split. I'm out! Oh yeah! Gotta lose these silly clothes. Uh oh! Gotta ride! And here's all of the amazing play sets we showed you today. Little monkey fans, do you remember? How many handcuffs did we get in our police collection? Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas for toys!